I've been cleaning out my garage and I found this huge drawer of scraps in my garage. Oops, I think I just dropped some. Anyways, um, so I've been kind of sorting through it like with the printed paper, cardstock paper, um, and some printed paper. And I thought, well, I set aside a little bit of paper over here that we can make mini paper face masks from. So, yeah, let's have fun. Okay, so all you really need to make the mini paper face mask is adhesive. So I like my glue glider pro. Um, maybe some ink, an ink pad or whatever for your cards. If you're gonna put your face mask on a card. Some scissors, your bone folder to crease the folds, your scorer, some pop uh, dimensionals, a stamp set maybe if you, for your card, and a block, some ribbon. I'm using this Christmas ribbon because it has the white, like a pretty thin white. I would say this is maybe an eighth of an inch wide, not more than a quarter. I wouldn't use bigger than a quarter inch wide. You need some um, sticky tape. This is the Scotch soup wing. I don't know where I got this. But, and some glue dots. Some printed paper of whatever color you want to. I'm using the stamp the digital stamp set from Stampin' Up, which is on sale for $12 and proceeds go towards UNICEF or the World Health Organization. All proceeds, um, this, we do not get a, independent demonstrators do not get a commission off of this or anything because all proceeds go towards those organizations and they're just coronavirus well, shoot, I don't want to use that word. They're the bug virus. They're the bug, the bug sayings. So, like, we're in this together. I miss your face. Thank you, hero. Um, there's nobody I'd rather stay home for. Not alone, just apart. There's all kinds of different sayings in here. Spread joy, not germs. Anyways, I like it a lot. And that, oh, also, you will need your cutting board to cut the paper down and your scoreboard. You could use your paper trimmer if it has a score too, but I like using the scoreboard when I have to score tiny little measurements. So, And we're going to be scoring our mask in eighth inch increments. So yeah, I like using the, the score. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so let's first thing we're gonna do is pick a piece of paper and see if it is long enough. I need my paper, my pattern paper to be two and three quarters. That is two and three quarters, a little bit longer, and two that's not gonna be long enough though. Okay, that piece won't work. So we're going to cut down this piece at two and three quarters. By, uh, let's get up here, by two and one eighth, which is right there. Yep. Two and three quarters by two and one eighth. Perfect. We can toss that little piece away. We'll, we'll save it. It might be good on a card. Okay, and then we're going to score this at, let me see if I can remember it. We are going to score it at half an inch. 
what we're gonna do is first we're gonna score our pieces okay so we're gonna score it half an inch we gotta scoot our blade up because we don't want that and we're just gonna try using the um the score on our and see if it works better okay so half an inch and then we're gonna score it at one inch Cosmo his bone fell down behind the cushions and he is over there trying to rip up my couch just a minute and I'll get it for you okay so a half inch one inch uh-oh we see I already messed it up because we are supposed to score it on the long side and I didn't score it on the long side my dog distracted me okay so let's go back and cut this again two two and three quarters by two and one eighth that is two and a quarter, two and one eighth is right about there. All right, now we will score it going along wise. Okay, so we're gonna score it half an inch. See, I always forget to move my blade up. That's the cutting blade. We want to get the cutting blade out of the way for this. Okay, so wind up doing half an inch. Just score it half an inch. Turn around and score it at one inch. Right there. Okay, and then at one and a half inches. But it's the edge right there, one and a half inches. Cool. And then we're gonna flip it around and you can, you can see the score marks in it. So we're gonna flip it around and we're gonna score it at, so we scored it at half an inch, so we're gonna go an eighth of an inch past that and score it at five, five eighths of an inch. So we're gonna like, it, an eighth of an inch from each score mark. So we're gonna start at half an inch and go out to, go out an eighth of an inch. I think I got it right, yep, right there. Okay. Right there. Okay. Score that. And then we're gonna go one and an eighth inch, right there. And then one and five eighths of an inch, which is right there. Yes, okay. There we go. So we're gonna make valley folds and mountain folds. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our first line, fold it down, and then we wanna give all these lines a super good crease because you want this to be a really creased mask. So we're gonna fold that line down. We're not gonna fold the second line yet. Then we're going to come and fold the second line down. Which is right there. 
okay and then we're gonna fold the third line down or up or what I don't know down up okay just like so okay and then we're gonna come back to this side and then we're gonna do the same thing with our other other score line or eighth of an inch score line Let's just score it down this is going to make it easier to fold, hopefully. I hate folding pleats. And then right here. Just like so. Okay. And now we're going to pleat it. Just like so. See? Super simple. Okay. Now, we have to hold it down. We have to keep it flat. So we're going to get out our sticky tape. We're going to take a piece of white paper. Did I bring up white paper? Oh, yes, I have a piece of white over here. Okay, good. All we're going to do, we're going to cut this off. Okay, and we're going to cut a, well, actually what we're going to do, I think it's easier to use scissors this way. We're going to make our own strips of sticky back paper here, okay? So we're just, and we probably will use most of this strip. So we're just going to put our tape along the straight edge here, get it close to the top. We're going to bring it all the way down. Now, I can't remember the name of the guy I saw who showed this little tip, but I'll leave, I'll leave it in the description box. So, so there. And then we're going to just cut along the edge here. You can use your trimmer or you can just cut it down because it doesn't have to be super straight so i think it's easier doing this than um putting the putting the tape down and putting the paper over it this way you just already have your strip mate so we're going to get our pleats pretty tight in there and we're going to pull off a little bit of our sticky tape i always have the hardest time getting this started nope, i'm pulling the paper apart here let's start at this end maybe there we go well, I had it. Okay. There we go. Okay. And we're just going to put our little strip back here. Make it tight. Cut it off. And then we're going to really just kind of can you guys even see me? I don't know now. You know what? Let's just go this way with it, huh? Oh, my phone is going to fall here. Okay, there. All right. We're just going to really get into there with this. Okay. Now let's do the other side. Make it tight. Put this down. Cut it off. There. Easy peasy. Now, we're going to put a little edging around this. We're going to cut off our used strip right here. And then what I like to do is 
cut this maybe in half right here and then I'm going to cut it in half just go straight up I'm not gonna measure it I'm not gonna do anything I'm just gonna eyeball it here if it doesn't turn out straight it's okay okay so now I have an eighth of an inch little sticky tape and I'm going to put an edge along my mask here if I can get it there we go again with the same thing we're going to put it along the edge the other side if it's not perfect don't sweat it just like that and cut it off Bone folder it down, get it, crease it into there, crease that into there, just like so. And we're going to take this one, make sure it's long enough, plenty long enough. Okay. I do not know what my dog is chewing on. Cosmo, what have you got now? Okay, bring that along the bottom. And then we're going to cut it off right about there. If it's overlapping a little, it's okay. It's very forgiving. And there is the little face mask. So, what we're going to do is we're going to release it a little bit right here in the middle by pulling your pleats apart. We're going to open up the mask a little bit because you don't ever want to see, I mean, masks that aren't open look kind of weird. So we're going to, and this gives you the little curvature there. Then we're going to use our bone folder and we're going to just break up just a few of the fibers in here and just give it a little curve. Just like so. Open it up again. So now, one of the best ways I learned, we're going to have to reinforce it a little to keep it open there. And I'd be very gentle with this because the first time I tried to make one, I tore it because I pulled too hard. So we got a quarter inch strip left here, that strip that we made. So we're going to pull the tape off of it and we're going to put this down the middle. Just straight down the middle on the back side of our mask. Just like that. Cut it off. Just like so. And there we go. Okay, now we gotta put our earpieces on. And my dog wants out. Of course she does. Because they can't ever wait until I finish a video can they nope that's just impossible for them to do so we want a piece of ribbon that's two and three quarter inches long so we're just going to measure it according to the length of our mask here 
and we're gonna cut it off and then we will just hold it up and eyeball it with this piece so about right there and then we're going to use these our little glue dots and we're going to put these down on the four corners hold on hope okay almost done hope okay so we could peel these up just like so just like so we'll put this down and curve it around and put this edge down just like that it's really once you make these a couple times they're pretty simple to make And there is our finished face mask. There you go.